All right, boys. As you know from the title, we're working on a good one for you today. E38 ECM. There is the pin out. We already got it pinned out here. Um, and today we're going to be using the HP Tuners MPVI3 to do this. I'm connected up with my breakout box. Uh, we're going to actually do a combination. Uh, important note. This is actually my unit, uh, donor unit that I have. I keep spares of pretty much all the ECMs, GMs, and uh, I've cloned the customer's Flash and EEPROM over to this um, ECM. So on HP Tuners, then it's going to recognize this ECM as exactly as the customer's. The even the serial number is cloned over. Um, so we're then going to read everything in HP Tuners, and I'm going to show you how to turn off the speed limiter or governor as some people say so we're going to go ahead and go to hp tuners and um i'm going to close what i got open here and then i'm going to go here which is going to read this ecm i'm going to do gather info that's going to tell us if uh, we have communication which you do everything is identified that is correct vin for the vehicle um, i'm going to do read entire it's already selected there read and it's going to take a while, a little bit to read the whole thing. It read the flash, the EEPROM, now it's reading the flash. It's about two minutes, I'll bring it back. By the way, this governor is uh, from, this vehicle is like a fleet vehicle. It was originally a Penske truck um, that the customer has. He uses, does delivery with it. And the, um, I actually tried to reflash it using the original, um, pulling down the original software from, GM using SPS2 and it flashes back to the same uh, restriction which is 75 miles per hour. I'm going to show you here. So as you see there that's the limiter right there. Um, so flashing in this case flashing um, the original software using SPS2 will not work because it's actually at the manufacturer level is where this limiter is on the uh, cutaway on this model on this year. Good news for you guys uh, that uh, have donated to the channel. If anybody needs it, I'm gonna go ahead and debug this once I'm done. And uh, I'll have a, this is most likely on the flash side where this uh, limiter is. And I'll make it available to anyone that needs it or wants it that has donated to the channel. So basically you wouldn't need this tool or have to go through this process because I'll be able to uh, send you a modified uh, flash because um, I'm going to go ahead after this is done, back up uh, this flash now that's going to be modified uh, using uh, IO terminal, and I'll have that available. All right, seven seconds, still reading. There it is. We're going to save. Just call that governor off. Save. Okay, and to do this, we're going to go into Speedo. Uh, by the way, this takes two credits, which each credit on this is 100 bucks, so you know what this costs. I'm going to put everything to 200 basically. All right, so you can see I just went ahead and typed in and filled in all these values here with 200 um, You're not going to go that fast in this uh, cutaway, trust me. It's a delivery truck, but he delivers from city to city, so uh, he wanted to get that taken care of. And uh, there it is. Those are my values. They're now saved. I'm going to go ahead and go to save. Uh, I don't know if I told you. Yeah, this takes uh, two credits. So I saved it. So now I'm going to have to write it back to the ECM. And let me do my credits. Gives you a little warning. Show licenses. I don't have license. So I'm going to go ahead and add credits real quick. This is how you add credits, by the way. You log into the site and it already has the serial number of my device here. I'm gonna go ahead and add two, um, add. So you can see it has my device and the quantity and as you can see how much it costs. All right, once you um, do that, you need to then go to resync, you go to help and there's gonna be a resync option and it's gonna show you and show add up your credits. And there it is right there. Now we're going to go back to write, show license options, and there's my two credits that we added. And uh, like I said, this serial number 
The VIN and the serial number are specific to the engine control module of the customers. Uh, this is not the serial number of this unit, but it's all saved on the EEPROM and flash, all this information. So HP Tuners doesn't know that this is not this actual ECM. So I'll be able to transfer this complete uh, flash and EEPROM to the customer's ECM. So I'm going to select this specific uh, serial number for the customer and hit OK. Yeah, these people won't refund your money, by the way, if you make a mistake or whatever. So now we're going to... Yeah, we're going to select right just the calibration because that should have the information that we need. Um, what we'll do once we're done, I'm going to go ahead and read it back and see if those values are correct now for the limiter. So I'm going to let you see how long this takes to write the calibration. And this is being done over CAN. I'm just connected. I've got this connected to my breakout box. And there it is going. And HP Tuners is communicating over the CAN network. All right, like complete. So I went ahead and closed that tune. Now I'm going to read it back and um, gather info. And I'm going to read it now and let's see um, if the uh, calibration information is saved showing the speedo. All right, just finish. I'll call it after. Save and let's see in the speedo it should be there and there it is. All the uh, information was saved. As you can see, the source is on calibration, so this is where it's going to get that information from. So now what I'm left to do, I'm going to go ahead and back this image up uh, with IO terminal, and then I'm going to actually debug it and look at the changes, and uh, I'll have that available for all donators of the channel if if wanted. Then I'm going to hook it back up to the uh, customer's van and it should be a go. Like and subscribe, boys. You know the routine. Hit that button, man. That thumbs up. It's free. Bonus footage for you boys that stuck around till the end. Uh, I'm in IO Terminal. I went ahead and read it. Uh, info, E38. And I'm going to go ahead and connect now. And then we're going to uh, back up the um, read and back up the flash and the... Uh, and the EEPROM. So read EEPROM. It's already read it. So we're going to go to memory dump here. And we're going to save it. I'm just going to call that governor off. Reconnect it. I always disconnect and reconnect when I read these different things. Now I'm going to read the uh, flash. Flash takes a minute. Alright, so it's done. I'm going to go to memory dump and go ahead and save that flash as well. Okay, I went ahead and loaded both files now. The original and also the one that we just saved with the governor off. And we're going to compare them. Synchronize and compare here using WinHex. And um, as I'm pretty sure, there should be no differences. And there are none. So the changes are strictly in the flash for the calibrations, as confirmed here. Uh, we're going to open that up. So now we got the both before and after version of the flash. So now we're going to go ahead and synchronize and compare these two. And let's see. All right, you can kind of miss them when you're working with a big file like this, uh, but here are some of the changes as you can see here. 
no big deal. We're just going to go here with tools, compare data, and we're going to compare the two, search for differences. All right, and here is our file, and uh, there's a lot of changes. So there's the differences. So there you go. If I get enough thumbs up on this video, I'll probably do a part two showing it uh, loaded onto the other ECM and testing it on the truck. Like and subscribe, boys. See you on the next one.